Microsoft recently launched its Android launcher called Arrow Launcher and you can see it right here on my phone. It comes with four standard screens that Microsoft calls Pages. The default screen is the app screen where you will find the apps that you use most often. Of course you can always tap the button with the three dots in the middle to see all your installed apps. Unfortunately, you cannot add apps to the screen or even change the order. <coughs> the arrow launcher automatically determines which apps will be included in the app screen based on the apps that you use the most according to Microsoft. However, you can hide an app by tapping on shortcut and dragging it to the hide section above. You can unhide an app again by going to settings and from the quick access section click on hidden apps and select which of your hidden apps you would like to unhide. Just like that. There's also the recent screen where you find recently used apps and a list of recently performed actions. The people screen will show you a list of recent calls from your contacts. While in the notes and reminders screen you can add tasks and notes and check off tasks that you have completed. You can see here you can add an item from here and you can check off items you have completed. You can go here and uncheck an action etc. Now there's also the widgets screen that becomes visible after you add a widget and you can add various widgets that perform different tasks. You can add the widgets by tapping on the three dots on the upper right corner, selecting edit pages, tapping on add widget, selecting the widget that you'd like to use and that's it. And from the edit page section you can also hide or re-enable a page by clicking on the icon at the top that looks like an eye. You should keep in mind that you cannot hide the apps page since by default it is set as your home page. Let's hide the recent page. We tap on here. As you can see it is now hidden and by tapping on the I icon again we re enable the page. You can also the change you can also change the order of the screen by dragging and dropping them. Let's put the apps screen at the start. And you can also use arrows icon pack or a custom icon pack by going into settings. And from the customize section, click on set icon pack. And from here, you can select the icon pack that you'd like to use. From the customize section, again, you can also set your default SMS application. And you can find various other settings. You can provide feedback, etc. Here's how you can change your wallpaper by going into edit pages, tapping on wallpaper and selecting a wallpaper from here that you'd like to use. It will be downloaded and set as your wallpaper. At the bottom you get quick access keys to your SMS application, your default web browser, your phone's camera and your contacts. just like that and if you drag the arrow here up you get quick access to your settings Google Maps your calendar etc and you also get quick access to your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi settings and you can turn on the flashlight here use your phone as a flashlight and determine your rotation settings. Go to edit page settings quickly and provide feedback. So this is the Arrow launcher, Microsoft's Android launcher. It's not minimal, 
So if that's your style, maybe we'd like to give it a go.